God damn. What's up, guys? Welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to put on the full kit. I have this and the bumper to put on. I fixed it. You guys saw that, but let me show you guys what I've done to the car so far because I've been kind of busy these past like two weeks with school. We'll go from there. It's a little windy. Forgive me or whatever. All right, we'll start from the inside. Of course, you guys saw from the inside, I changed the steering wheel, a blinker extension, um, got dice. And also I got a new head unit because my speakers weren't working for some reason and they sound really trash. So I threw out my Pioneer. I guess it was wired super wrong and it was janky. I bought a Kenwood. I bought new speakers for the front. They're hurt. Then I got my sub in the back, little sound system in the back. I'll show you guys, it's really dirty, my trunk. So, you know, cut me some slack, but all right. This is my sub. I've got a Pioneer sub and an amp and you know, the goodies. And I'm gonna fix all this because I bought a little organizer for the trunk, make it a little aesthetic. And now for the good juicy parts. All right, the car is dirty and needs love, but you guys see what's going on here. The rear is finally on. And it's, the fitment's all right. It's not perfect, like in these areas. Right here is like gaps. The headlight fits weird. I don't know why, but I'm gonna try to fix that little by little off camera, but it's on. No more stock exhaust. I threw on my gritty exhaust back on. We had to cut and weld it on to make it fit. Cause before, before this part will be inside and no hit like around this area so i had to cut and made them put push it out and also i want to make it shiny again so if you guys can help me with that it'll be greatly appreciated if you guys know any tips or anything i could do to it i know i gotta polish it but i try to polish it by hand and this is the best it got and i don't really like the brown look so yeah so for today oh also uh, I got thicker tires, so my tire setup changed. Instead of 215.40 and 225.40, I went 215.45 and 225.45. And the reason being is that I was still too low with the kit and I was raised and I had a nasty like gap. So what I did was just make it look more full and I kind of like it this way. It looks a little bit more like aggressive. Stock body looks ugly as hell. These cars need to be slammed, but with the kit, it looks a little better because the kit sits really low. I'm basically putting on the side skirt today so I could adjust the height because for some reason, the side skirt dips in the front. So I'm gonna have to fix that real quick. But yeah, I'm making a quick video so you guys can see just with it all on and get some rolling clips. So you guys, cause I'm, you guys see me raise and slam the car a lot of times. And it's just, now it's just a lot of adjustments before I start rapping and everything. So yeah, a lot of body work. And uh, also I put on my old fender again because I started hearing a clunk in my front suspension and I don't know what it is, but I am thinking it's the ball joints. So I'm gonna change those because I am not gonna drive like that with the whole car done and then that's it, no more wheels, fenders messed up wrap, so yeah. Uh, before I go with the kit, I have an interior piece to put on also, and it's a dash cover, but I got it custom, I got it like custom stitching on it, and um, yeah, I'm gonna put it on and see how it looks. Cause you know, a dash cover, if you have like a two, early 2000s, 90s car, I mean, you could still put it on on a newer car, but if you have an older car and you put a dash cover, bro, it'll make the interior look a lot cleaner for some reason. This dash covers are like an underrated mod for your car. Like I swear to you, underrated mod. But yeah, and uh, I'll show you guys right now the dash cover I went with. It's gray to match my interior. It's gray to match my interior, nothing crazy. I didn't, I, I didn't, I had black before, but then it got brown real fast. So I didn't like that. And I get them velour because I like that you could like do a little. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like that. They're not 
stupid cheap, but they're not stupid expensive. And I think it's really worth it, honestly. It makes your dash look a lot better. If you have an older car, it makes it look cleaner. If you have a newer car, it's even clean. Like, it's just a clean in general. It's from Dash Mat, as you can see there. And I paid a little extra so I could have this on it. And basically stands for STZ Squants. STSQ, STZ Squants. So a little detail to make it my own, you know. It's the small details in your car, you know, like the blinkers, the little dice, small details. And I have some stuff that I'm gonna put here too, like a little like a little figurine or something I have planned. I think I think it'll look sick. And then you know, I also have my um, JDM cup holder. I think it's in here. Yeah. So yeah, it's the small things, guys. Just take a good look. Before I put it on, I'm gonna clean it down, wipe it down with Chemical Guys interior cleaner. It's on. I put little pieces. I'll start from here. I like that it wraps around this before the other one just wrapped like right here. So that's the part. Put one right here, one right here, one right here, two down here, one right here. You just put them in places where the corners and try to make it as flat as you can. You know, one thing I don't like about this dash mat that I did with my other one is that you see, I have like little ass squares right there. That's because the other one even covered my center right here. And I thought that was really clean. Like it looked, it made it look cleaner and it wraps nicely around the thing. I might have to put one in that corner. You see how it's a lifted a little bit. It changes your interior big time, guys. Like invest in a dash mat. I'm telling you, it'll, if you get in your car and you like your car from the inside, you're gonna like driving it regardless, you know, regardless of what how it looks in the outside. If it's clean in the inside, it could be monster lifted in the outside. Who cares? Like you're gonna like it. The man of the hour. I needed him because it's the front, but this is how it looks with the side skirts on. From let's look at it from the back, hold up. Damn, bro. It looks hot boy. Spacers are good. So now we just need to put the front back on it. I'll take it for a spin. All right, guys, we just put the front on. I love this kit. It just sucks that it's like a really low kit, but it looks really nice on the car. Makes the car look a little lower also. It's not body low, it's kit low. It's a whole different thing. But yeah, now I'm gonna get some shots of it down the street. And I'll have my little brother record and stay tuned for that. Hold up, there's uh, people coming. I got. Hold on, there's a car coming. Jeez. See the dices? Ooh, he still is great. I'm gonna go take it for a spin. All right, God. Those were the clips of the car rolling. I still got like a splitter for it. I made my splitters for the sides. And I have like little end lids. Like I have right here. I have carbon fiber end lids, little overlays. I'm gonna put these right. Well, these go in the rear. So I'm gonna put these like right 
like right there add a little a little oomph to the car make it look a little lower had a little shadows and all that stuff but but yeah this is the height It matches it pretty good, actually. I think it's almost spot on the height. What do you guys think? You think I should throw on a bigger spacer in the rear? Let me guys, let me, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do with that. But yeah, this is how my car sits right now. It looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna cap. I'm excited, but stay tuned for more videos. I hope you guys enjoy this pretty short video. But this is all I got for today. Uh, I'm sorry, I've been busy with school and all that stuff, but we're almost done with the kit. We're almost done, so stay tuned. Thank you for guys for watching. You guys know the vibes.